Jeff Hansen, spokesman for OPPD. If the water were up to the plant itself, it would still be protected. The plant itself is watertight. New York Times, June 20th, 2011. There was water building. When asked about water breaching the Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant during the May 31st, 2012 public meeting of the NRC, Jeff Clark, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission's Region 4 Branch Chief Division of Reactor Projects Response was... I wanted to catch up on something about uh, I got I, I, it's an old question that keeps coming up and I just wanted to get up before we move on to which, which is um, the water in the buildings. Now I've heard from Sandy Dodge no water in any building. I've heard from Mr. Green that there was water in the loading dock. I've heard from Victor Griggs that there was water in the auxiliary building on the phone. And I heard from Nancy Gardner via Victor Griggs that there was water building in the turbine building. Some sort of sump situation. <laughs> All true. They were not a True. Was there water in any building? There, there was water in the building. Okay, you know, so I was, water, I was here so during flood water the did get into the building. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, it did get into uh, the turbine building itself. It did get into the loading area that was around the auxiliary building. And there were uh, seen to be some uh, water penetration through some seals and things uh, that did go into the auxiliary. At the March 16, 2012 OPPD board meeting, when asked about flood water breaching the Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant, OPPD board member Ann L. McGuire's response was, the plant was not flooded, the site was flooded. The plant was not flooded. The site was flooded. There was water built. On April 12, 2012, at an OPPD board meeting, when asked if any flood water breached the Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant during the spring of 2011, the response from David Bannister, Vice President of Nuclear, Chief Nuclear Officer, was, I'm not aware of any water in the auxiliary building. The crucial thing is, was there a breach? Yes. Was there a drop of water? We refer to the auxiliary building, one of our, our safety-related structures. I'm not aware. And I was at the plant every day. I walk these systems down, walk these buildings down. I'm not aware of any water in the auxiliary building. And there were uh, seen to be some uh, water penetration through some seals and things uh, that did go into the auxiliary building. Now, when you build a sandbag burn to protect certain areas, certain, certain, certain structures, you will get some seepage, but we build a burn and we build a catch with a small pump to be able to pump that out. Uh, we don't, you can refer to, there was a refer, somebody referred to that. the entire basement was perfectly flooded on a single day, walking around, and it was dry. There was water built. At the April 12, 2012 OPPD board meeting, Omaha Public Power District's President and Treasurer of the Board, N.P. Dodge, receiving a J.D. Power Performance Award, had this to say. Not, uh, not one building was breached. Water in the parking lots and surrounding that building for a hundred years with a current of somewhere between 8 and 11 miles an hour. And not, not uh, one building was breached. So the water, water did get into the building. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, and in what did, buildings exactly? It did not get into the containment structure. It did not get into areas where it affected any safety. Where did it get into? It did get into uh, the turbine building uh, itself. It did get into the loading area that was around the exemplary building. And there were uh, seen to be some uh, water penetration through some seals and things uh, that did go into the auxiliary. Uh, Thank you.